Why is the Prefontaine meat so important? This is the next conversation with Larry. I've been going to Pre since the 1980s, um, late 1980s, out of respect for an athlete that I absolutely admired. Never got to see race in person, the late Steve Prefontaine, who died at the age of 25. At the age of 25, most of us still have our heads up our butt. And Steve was pretty typical American young man at that time, but he was also a rock star in our sport. Nike supports the Prefontaine Classic and meet director Tom Jordan because it's key to their, as Mark Parker, their CEO says, DNA. For the six to eight weeks before the pre-classic, John Capriotti and his team in sports marketing and Tom Jordan are looking for the finest athletes and putting together the finest fields of any non-championship event around the world. Why can they do that? Nike's got most of the athletes too, so it's part of their deal. But I can tell you, going to that meet for three hours, actually two hours and 45 minutes, and going event after event and watching killer race after killer race, killer field event after killer field event, is what's kept the sport alive in this country and it's challenged the competitors like Adidas, New Balance, uh, Asics, Brooks, to come up with other events. That's why I like the Nike Pre Classic and that's why I think Pre's sitting in the back of the stands in a hoodie with a Coors in a paper bag watching the meet. I think he likes the mile and the 5,000 the best, but he also liked field events. He loved Mac Wilkins and the discus too back in his day. This is Larry Eater signing off.